When I saw the first photographs of the Snake Eagle Thinking Path project, I was I was excited. I thought it's a it's a grand and very sensitive project, and I think it brings together ideas about conservation and human ritual. So I was very glad to to be able to to join the work party. It certainly seems to me that many people are looking for new ways of living, new ways of operating our society. And if we're not working holistically, we're going to fail. Land art is one of the ways that we can have a conversation with the actual landscape, with our environment, and to make people just more aware of what we've got around us and what we need to work with and, and what we need to change. So it's a great, a great dialogue. The project's very centred around um, like an interactive artwork in the sense of it's maintained through walking, which is a lovely idea, I think so, because it, it gets the people involved in the environment, um, where as opposed to just viewing something. And so I think that obviously we are doing art in, a, in an environment, in a landscape, uh, there is quite a lot that science can bring to the party in terms of understanding the physical dynamics of things um, and the biological dynamics of things. But I also, but I also think that, that a good artist, you know, they, they learn about their medium. Um, but yeah, I think that we all, we all see things slightly differently interacting with people from another field. But the, I mean, I would encourage scientists to get involved because I think it's, it's just a really lack of positive space. It is our intention that the snake eagle emblem can become something that can be translated into many craft forms that local people can make and sell to tourists coming to, to Marcus Fontaine. The conversation is very hard because people are living in a very different reality than my own reality. And therefore it's a luxury to have the conversation about if there is no water or if there is no electricity. Most people haven't had water electricity, so why is it an issue now? Work is an immediate issue and therefore immediate pay. So the work has to happen tomorrow and there has to be immediate pay because I have to provide bread and food on the table. So to open up the conversation about what the whole community needs or what a whole area needs or what is important is very difficult. And then you need a lot of trust, you need to be able to, to talk and it's not something that's going to happen overnight. I nearly want to say that at times I feel that I cannot even begin the conversation because there's so much else that needs to be talked about or get out of the way that you can't even get there. I'm there to encourage communities to uh, find their own resources. And so it's not really imposing, which is one of the difficult things with a lot of community work is that we come in and we impose something on a community. For me, it's, uh, I believe in the bottom up. So actually communities need to start to take ownership and to drive uh, some of the projects. Nice, that's a nice shot.